Hi friends, this is Plants Love and Neil and you are watching Plants My Love. In today's video, I will show you the update of the jasmine cutting we planted 17 days back. If you have not seen that video, I will put an eye icon over here. So make sure to check that video. I have explained step by step how you can propagate jasmine from stem cutting. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay friends, 17 days has passed since we started this cutting of jasmine. You can see I have changed the poly bag. The previous poly bag setup that I used to polythene bags tend to work to capture the moisture. So I have used a single bigger poly bag and I have closed it from the sides you can see using these clips. And as you can see you can, the moisture is still retained in it. Here you can see there are some water droplets over here. So this poly bag is working as a humidity dome. Now let's see whether the roots have developed and if the roots have developed I'll be transplanting it into a soil growing medium so that it can and extract the nutrients from the growing medium. Now let's see what the condition is. I have been checking on it for every 2-3 days. It looks nice from the top at least. Let's see. One of the cutting did not survive. We'll see what is the result from the bottom. You can see over here. For this cutting, this is quite thin and I didn't expect it to root but looks like it, doesn't, it didn't root till now because all the leaves have dried out. Over here also the same thing for a very thin cutting. This also all the leaves have shedded. You can see over here. This still has one leaf but I am hopeful for the center cutting. You can see there are several buds over here. You can see over here and this also has got some new growth coming the top end there this also has got a new shoot development over here you can see so let's see what's the root growth from the bottom if there is any root growth okay. and the supports have developed fungus you can see over here that doesn't matter that much because it's not affecting the cutting. Okay, let's see. And one support down. Okay, okay. Here we go. Invert the pot like this. And this I added the paper so that the pearl light doesn't leak out from the bottom. Okay, it's coming apart. Let's see. Looks like there is no root growth in this. Oh, there is. No. Nothing whatsoever. It will take some more time it looks like. And what about the center cutting? Mm -hmm. No root growth in this. That's uh, one more root growth. Because of the high temperature the roots are not getting developed. Okay. No root growth. Here also the same problem. Okay, looks like it will take another 15 days. None of the cuttings have developed any roots. Root. Okay, we'll have to put it back again so that if we transplant it to soil medium, then it, there will be chance of fungal infection because now at present it does not have any root. So I'll be transplanting back into the pearl light inert medium so that there is no chance of fungal infection, or very little chance of fungal infection. Yeah. Again, I'll be adding the cuttings in the same way. First, we'll create the holes using this tool and then add the cuttings slowly. So, th since there is some shoot development at the top, it's certainly alive, but roots have not developed, so it will take some more time. Okay. Over here, also, you can see there is shoot development. Hopefully, when the weather cools down, it will start developing roots. At present, the temperatures are horrible around 44 degrees centigrade sometimes reaching even 45 degrees centigrade so that could be one of the reason why they did not root there you go as good as before now we'll again water it and add the humidity dome okay and clean the packet also so that there is no Mm 
moisten it from inside so that the humidity starts building up. That much is good enough. for another 15 days and hopefully the roots will start developing. Until then keep watching Plants Mallow. Bye bye.